But then after all them years, I think Red's Bar closed down for a little bit, but there was a bar right next door, 20th Street Tap. Some of my uh, union buddies, black dudes from the union, they're like a st strong, st like one of the strongest black families in town. You know, I know their little sisters and used to hang out with their little sisters and whatnot, you know. Um, but I, so when I got in the union and the laborers, most of the black people were in the laborers, grunt, the grunts were the grunts, you know, we do all the hard labor. Look, I met all these people that already knew everything about me. <laughs> I mean, we're talking like five or six people from the same family. I'm working with them. They know all about me and I never met them. Like, tell me, oh, I heard, <laughs> tell me stories about me from years ago. One time, uh, Brenda, Brenda was a big girl, man. Brenda, that was a, that was a, uh, that's the kind of woman <laughs> that <laughs> you don't want to be in a domestic violence relationship with. <laughs> that is a big girl. Not, not like, I mean, strong, tall, like an ox. This, this woman was like six foot tall. I mean, she is a strong, big black woman. You know, she knew all about me. You know, from her niece and, uh, one time she's like, why, why don't, why don't you, uh, call up, what's her name, her niece, why don't you try and get with her, I'm like, man, come on, man, she already got, like, three or four kids, <laughs> like, yeah, but, you know, I'm like, no, no, <laughs> but yeah, that was cool, I mean, they all already knew everything about me, you know, and uh, the, one of them ended up buying the 20th Street Tap. So that was cool, you know. Uh, always good in there, you know. No problems. But yeah.